Good. Um, welcome back. This is Jan Hichu, and I am discussing and um, through a series of videos the use of IESVE as a building performance assessment program. And um, if you followed the previous videos, then you should have a model that has been developed on a geometrical basis, and you should have defined a number of energy inputs and thermal gains and so forth, along with a good basic construction um, definition. So you've, you've, you've defined the floor, the, the glazing, the roof, the ceiling, the walls, and the door or doors. And remember, there's, there's a range of it. You can actually um, yeah, you can define many materials. You can have different materials in a single model as well. Um, or you can keep it simple. Um, it's it's not the intention is not to keep it simple for e the sake of ease. I, I think it's um, important to define it correctly. Okay, so now we're going to define it in our model. Okay, so the first thing you do is when you click on Apache, you get to this the screen where you can save, you can assign constructions and and room templates. Um, you can edit attributes again. This is going back into what we've defined. You can go back to the, 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 the building um, template manager again. And ultimately, we can actually also look at some of the um, adjacencies and we can actually have a visual assessment of, of the model as well to see what, what's taking place in the model. Um, okay, so a very basic way that you can assign construction, I, I will start there, is that you simply choose the, 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 the volume or the space, and you'll see here a table coming up with the component that I am referring to being the external glazing, the external walls, and so forth, and then what is currently assigned. So, so for instance, if I choose external wall, you'll see currently the um, there's a 2013 external wall, but remember we actually defined a wall, a 290 millimeter wall with a cavity, and that is plastered. So we can click on that and say replace. Now, um, what you'll see then is when when you've actually replaced it in this little block, you will see that the external wall which it was defined at disappears, and when I click on the masonry it should be you should actually see it as red um, typically similarly you can say for glazing if we decide to, to, to rather define it as single glazing you'll see the similar thing at game place so the glazing it's not selected anymore and when I click on on single glazing all the glazing has been defined okay that's that's an easy way to change the whole building or the whole space you can also click on the building template and go to construction, which is also a very simple way. You, you develop a new template. We can call that office template. And we can say, well, we've defined the roof to be a concrete roof. And we define the ceiling to be the, the upper floor slab. And we define the walls, and, and that's actually a very quick way to define each of the materials for your model. I'll quickly do it, and then you can join me again once that's done. Okay, so now we've defined a basic template, construction template, which now means if I click on Assign Template, you can see I can then say, I know that I've developed a, a, a thermal template called Office One. And I know that I've developed a construction template called Office Template. If I click on that, that means should I want to change the material of this, you'll actually see that the glazing has already been adjusted to single glazing. To a 290 wall and to a roof construction. It's important to, yeah, to just be sure that that is 
what has taken place, but you can just simply test it and check it in, in your model. You can also go down one level, for instance, and say, okay, wait a minute, if I look at this wall, I would like to assign specific constructions for that. That wall must be a single glazed window. And then you can say, what happens to this window? Maybe this one, I don't want it to be single glazed. I see that in the process of adjusting the template, then um, our previous changes was adjusted. So again, you'll just have to re replace it and um, make sure that it's highlighted red when you when you replace it to the to the specific material. So again, you can go, you can take the whole model as well. I, I sometimes find it easier to simply say, okay, let's take the roof and make sure that the roof must be a concrete insul uh, the concrete roof that's insulated. So you choose that, and you should be able to see it's turning red. And similarly, we would like to be sure that all the walls are plastered with cavities. And similarly, all the glazing uses the single glazing. And, and so you, you, you go through the whole process of ensuring and checking that, your, that, 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 that ultimately the, the, the correct material has been assigned. Um, and, 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 and there you go. You've now assigned the actual energy, um, the, the, the energy inputs and the thermal templates as well as the, as the construction templates, which means you are effectively ready to undertake your, 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 your simulation and, and assessment process.